Damage calculations in AoE 2 are not as simple as they appear at first glance. You may think that finding the damage dealt is as simple as subtracting the attack minus armor values of units, but it's actually not quite so straightforward. The attack and armor values that are displayed in the unit panels can be quite misleading. If we look at the galley, it has an attack of 6 and a pierce armor of 6. So these should just cancel each other out, and a galley should do the minimum damage of 1 versus other galleys, right? Nice and simple. So let's just have this galley fire and... 8 damage. Where did that come from? To answer this question, we're going to use the Advanced Genie Editor, which you can download from AOK -OK Heaven. So let's start with the basics. Let's go to the Units tab and look at the galley as an example. Scrolling down a bit, we come to the Attack and Armor classes. The attacks are a list of two components, an attack amount and the type or class of unit that the attack damages. The armors work the same way, giving the amount of attack they negate and the class of the attack against which they protect. When one unit attacks another, we first look at each attack class of the attacker. We subtract the value of the corresponding defense class for the defender. If the attack minus armor ends up being a negative value, then the value is set to zero. Units can't do negative damage. Then we add all of these values together. So for the galley versus galley example, a galley does 8 attack against class 16 and 6 attack against class 3. The full 8 ship attack is applied against the 0 ship armor, but the 6 pierce attack is negated completely against the 6 pierce armor. These values are added together for a total of 8 attack. Back in AOC, class 16 was also used for camels in addition to ships. That means any unit with an attack bonus versus ships would also have an attack bonus versus camels. But what about these other attack classes, such as 11, 17, and 34? The galley doesn't have an armor class for them. That's where the base armor attribute is used. Whenever a defender doesn't have an armor class, then the damage dealt is given by the attack minus the base armor. Now, nearly every unit has a value of 1000 base armor, so for pretty much all attacks, they are completely negated by this large armor value. But there are a couple of exceptions. So what could possibly have such a high attack that it does more than 1000 damage? Let's look at the Portuguese organ gun. At first, there's nothing out of the ordinary. It does 0 damage to class 11, 16 to class 3, and 1 to class 17. But the organ guns fire more than just one projectile. They also have a secondary projectile. We'll look at this unit, and we see it has an attack of 1002 versus armor class 33. Now, class 33 is unused, so that means the extra projectile only takes the base armor into account. That is 1002 attack minus 1000 base armor for flat 2 attack versus all units. It doesn't matter how much armor the unit has, the organ gun secondary projectile always does this 2 damage. On the other hand, are there any units that don't have 1000 base armor? One example is the dire wolf. These units are quite weird as not only do they have no base armor, but they also have no attack classes and no armor classes. These units don't appear in any standard games, but they do appear in the first Jeanne of Arc mission. I'm guessing the use of these wolves instead of normal wolves is just a bug, as basically none of their stats are set, but because of their base armor of zero, they take full damage from any attack. That means once you get the capped ram, it applies 150 damage against buildings, 3 melee damage, and 50 bonus damage against siege, letting it one hit the dire wolf. Poor little wolf. And the final component for damage is damage multipliers. The most significant one is the hill bonus. If your units are on top of a hill or shooting down over a cliff, they do an additional 25% damage. If the units are at the bottom of the hill shooting up, they do a 25% reduction in damage. Shooting up cliffs doesn't matter, only hills. The other notable damage multiplier is from the Cracked Dirt terrain. This terrain was introduced in the African Kingdom's expansion, and any building on top of it receives 20% additional damage when it's attacked. All of these multipliers are then multiplied together, 
So a unit attacking a building on cracked dirt from a downhill position will take the 0.75 downhill multiplier and multiply it by the 1.2 cracked dirt multiplier for a total multiplier of 0.9. The important point is that these damage multipliers are applied after all of the bonus damages and armors are already accounted for. Now, after all of these various factors, the unit might still end up doing zero damage. In this case, there is a minimum of one damage that is applied. Units always do at least one damage per attack. Now that we understand the basic formula, let's look at a few weird cases. You may have noticed that the hill bonus multiplier is not an integer. When you multiply by 1.25, you end up getting fractional damage values. So how does the game handle these fractions? Does it discard them, or does it do some kind of rounding? Fractions are another area where the game's interface is lying to us. Even though all of the numbers displayed are integers, the underlying values are actually floating point numbers. You may have noticed that trade cards can carry fractional amounts of gold if your markets are close to each other. Despite saying they carry zero gold, they actually are carrying a fraction and eventually you will gain gold from them. Let's look at an example with an archer and a skirmisher. The archer has four pierce attack and does one damage to a skirmisher with three pierce armor. When an archer is on a hill, it then does 1.25 damage. But if we look at the skirmisher, it loses 2 HP from this first attack. Following up, it next loses 1, 1, 1, and then 2 HP again. What is going on here? The explanation is that the fractional part of the 1.25 attack is applied immediately and the game rounds the skirmisher's displayed HP down to 28. However, the extra fraction is still applied and continues to accumulate. But what if the skirmisher had only 2 hit points? Would applying 1.25 damage be enough to kill it, or would it need to receive a full 2 points of damage before it dies? We can do some modding to change the hit points to 2, and after 1 attack from the archer, we see the result is… No! The skirmisher dies in 1 hit. For another example, it's important to remember that the minimum of 1 damage is applied after the hill bonus. Tower versus tower fights are quite common, but their building attack and pierce attack are completely cancelled out by their armor. This zero damage is then multiplied by 1.25 for an astonishing attack value of zero. The only damage comes from the minimum of one damage, so the hills do not actually affect the damage value in tower fights. Another weird example is the battering ram. This unit has negative three melee armor. That means any unit with a melee attack, even if that attack is zero, deals three extra points of damage to the ram. We can demonstrate this by modding an archer to have exactly zero melee attack and no other attack classes. Here, it attacks the ram, and it always does three damage per attack. Now that we know how damage is calculated, how is it displayed? We know that the six attack displayed for galleys is not the damage they end up doing. So where does this displayed value come from? The fact is, the displayed number can be a complete and utter lie. There is a field called shown attack. This field is normally set to the highest of a unit's melee and pierce attack, but it could arbitrarily be set to any value. Using the same six value as the pierce attack of the galley isn't particularly useful, when the main way galleys do damage is with their 8 ship attack. When you research blacksmith upgrades, you will notice a plus sign indicating the additional attack the unit has over its shown attack. These plus and minus values are calculated by taking the max of the unit's melee and pierce attacks, accounting for the blacksmith upgrades and any bonuses, and subtracting the value of the shown attack. For an example of how much of a lie these stats are, let's make a custom unit. I'll use the organ gun trick to give this unit 10,001 attack against the unused class 33. I'll give it a shown attack of 0, and since it doesn't have any melee or pierce attack armor classes, that's the value the interface will display. An unsuspecting enemy with the standard 1000 base armor will have no idea that this 0 attack unit is about to inflict pain of over 9000 damage. So there you go, more than you ever wanted to know about damage calculations. Hopefully this information is useful to you. 
You never know when you might need to make spreadsheet after spreadsheet after spreadsheet of damage values in an attempt to balance ships for Mangrove Shallows maps. Sometimes that just happens in life. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and until next time, stay beautiful.